I'm going to read you my blog post because my memory is not so good, just in case that I forget something. But when is the best time to plant garlic? Fall is the best time to plant garlic. This is a tricky plant to grow. The way the temperatures have changed in Missouri, some winters have been mild. Some have lots of snow. We've had outdoor family gatherings on Christmas and Thanksgiving a few times. So picking a set time is no longer an option. Last week we were in the 80s and Friday and Saturday night we went down to 28 and 32 so we had freezing temperatures. Today we're going to go back up in the 70s. And so, um, garlic needs around 50. Hardneck garlic should be planted when soil temperatures are at 50 Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. Garlic requires full sun, good drainage. That's why my garlic failed last year. Too much rain and not enough sun. One and a half to two inches of water per week. Stop when leaves turn yellow. My um, weather had sometimes six, seven, eight inches per day last summer. Phosphorus, P, and potassium K are important for health and growth. Keep garlic well weeded. It cannot stand much competition. Hard neck garlic should be planted in the fall when temperatures are at least soil temperatures are 50 Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. The month of October or November will depend on temperatures for your area. If it's not, um, if it's really hot, you should hold off on planting. Soft neck garlic can be planted in spring, but bulb size may be reduced. The goal is to get a well-established root and leaf, and as much leaf as possible. That is all we can control. If planted too early. Too much top growth may happen before winter. If planted too late, may not have enough top growth to survive the winter. So you really have to find know your weather forecast to make a good judgment. The plant will start out growing again if temperatures warm up in winter. The plant can handle stop and start, but if it dies back two or more times, the yield will be reduced. Roots will grow as long as the soil is not frozen. The tops will grow as long as temperatures are 40 Fahrenheit, 4.5 Celsius. Garlic needs at least 40 days at temperatures below 40 Fahrenheit, 4.5 Celsius to make the bulbs divide into separate cloves. Garlic is day length sensitive. Garlic bulbs start to form and leaf growth starts when the day length reaches 13 hours and the soil temperatures are over 60 Fahrenheit, 15 Celsius. Both has to happen before bulbs will form. Temperatures cause harvest time to be early or late. If the day length is at least 13 hours but the soil temperature isn't up to temperature, that can read Reduce the um, increase the amount of time you need to leave it in the ground. It can be harder to grow in northern climates because it takes longer to reach the right soil temperature. It is important to have larger plants before they reach the stage of bulb growth. The more leaf and root gro root growth, the more um, the larger the bulb. Temperatures above 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius, will end the growth of the bulb and trigger the plant to start dying. The bulb will double in size the last month of growth, so removing the scapes, the central stem on hardneck garlic, will increase the bulb size in the in that point. At that point. Note, garlic should be stored at temperatures between 50 and 60 Fahrenheit, 10 to 15 Celsius. Do not refrigerate. Temperatures between 40 and 50, 4.5 to 10 Celsius will cause sprouting before you are ready to plant. I put a link to more information. Don't wait for garlic leaves to die back before checking for maturity. Start checking for mature cloves in June. 
and then I put a chart here of nitrogen and potassium in um, chickens. It's um, 1.1, 1 0.80, and 0.50 for N, P, and K. Dairy cows, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.25. Horses, 0 0.70, 0 0.30, 0 0.60. Steer 0 0.70, 0 0.30, 0 0.40. Rabbit is low 2.4, 1.4, and 0 0.60. Sheep is 0 0.70, 0 0.30, and 0 0.90. It has the highest K. But let's go plant some garlic. We'll take a look at what I'm planting this year. This is a hard neck variety and it's um i'm not sure if you can see it there's some purple colorations or stripes in it in the sun here it kind of looks like it's all white and if you notice some of these are sprouting our temperatures um decreased you know below 50 in the house a few days what the heck something scared the chicken <laughs> come here but um, it started the growth on here and um, some people put their garlic in um, baking soda and soak it for 24 hours. Some people soak it in compost tea. I just like to um, dig down in the ground. Let's see, put one right here. You go down about two inches and <laughs> you find there's one that I put in already. I planted last week. You can see it's cold and not happy from the temperature change. But I'll go ahead and um, you want to go over. I use my fingers to my knuckles a few inches and give the next one that amount of space and put it in my soil is already pretty rich you know from everything i plant in here you know i had compost i had food scraps and you can see we've had a ton of rain but at this level right here there's not much moisture in the ground but you want to put the this is where the roots are coming out and then the point is up here you want to make sure the roots are always down and the point is up. And then um, after it comes up, then I'll add two inches of um, mulch on top of it to protect it for the winter. But that's about all there is to planting. You know, it's mostly space, you know, two to four inches, go down two inches and drop your bulb in and this one's kind of cheating but we'll leave the, that one up so it'll come out of the ground come over a couple of inches and put this one in Because if you crowd them, you know, the more you crowd them, the more they, what do you call it, the smaller the bulb could be also. Let me show you something else about hardneck garlic. Don't have a center stem. Let me break this one open. You're just peeling it apart. See this right here, the central stem coming up. You don't have this in soft neck garlic, just in hard neck garlic. And you want to go ahead and leave that central stem with the last clove that's on there. Plant at the root side down, blunt side down, and that's it. I'll put one more over here and plant the rest of these in another location.
You want to try to use your best bulbs too. The teen, if you find any teeny tiny ones like that, you want to go ahead and just use them for um, cooking and plant your best bulbs. You know, the better the bulb, the better the harvest. Okay, here's another center. That one's got two on it. But see how it's starting to grow? Put it in two inches and cover it up. We're going to have 70 degrees today, so it's not exactly the best day to be planting. But um, in Missouri, I'm finding there is no best day anymore. There's no prediction. There's no... Um, you know, like none of the weather reports said that we were going to have frost, and we had frost, our freezing temperatures. Now, I'll put these in a, the rest of these in a bed to themselves, where I'm adding these to the potato garden. I used to, you know, put them here and there, a little bit of everywhere, you know, because they're good at repelling pests. Let me dig down and put one right here. Blunt side down. Actually, this needs to be a little deeper, about right there. And put that up. I don't buy um, commercial fertilizers. I, you know, rely on um, chicken manure and cow manure, basically. And then here's an onion um, that started and stopped. See how the roots have started? But the bulb is getting squishy. That's from too much rain. I'm going to go ahead and plant it deeper. See how it's still got green on it? It'll start and stop again. So I'm not going to worry about them. See how that one's starting to regrow again. But the onions and garlic are kind of the same. A lot of the potato onions are like this. You know, we're, these are standard onions. These are red onions. They're not going to multiply like the other onions that I've got this year. I've got a video over here. I'll put a link to the multiplier, you know, perennial onions. If you'd like to watch that video, look at this one. It has green here, but the roots haven't started. I'm going to go ahead and put him... Oh, I need to put markers. Go ahead and put this one back over here. And plant it deeper since it's having issues. Sorry, I didn't mean to add an onion to the garlic video. But, you know, if you'll go ahead and enjoy your day, happy gardening, everyone.